Oh, we're at Cambuya Boomoy, uh, about 60 mile north of Moree. Uh, we've been here for 20, 25 years. Um, now we grow 5,000 uh, 5, acres or 2,000 hectares of cotton. Well, you have a look at this crop. You can't, you can't put a wheel machine through this crop. You cannot put a wheel machine through. We, we need the aerial ag agriculture to do the job that they're doing. Yep. Hey. Nothing, nothing. It's just breaking up out there. We're going to be able to spray tonight, no worries at all, eh? It's, it's a bit different flying at night. It's a, it's a, it can be a bit challenging. Australian cotton is probably among some of the best cotton in the world. Use the helicopter, it's slower, lower and more manoeuvrable, so therefore it uh, will be a more precision application. Yeah, we're professionals. We're taught to fly underneath power lines. We're taught to fly around trees. Every cow does have its own personality. Uh, they're very much like humans. You'll get cranky cows, you'll get good cows, placid, quiet. We've been using border air and Brett Hislop for uh, maybe 25 years. Uh, with his aerial spraying, he knocks all the weeds out. More grass on the ground, hence more milk in the vat. Southwestern District of Victoria is a major dairy production area. The dairy products are produced, exported all over the world. Firefighting can be very, very challenging. And when homes start to burn, it just kicks in. But you know, you can be laying on the couch half asleep and in the next minute you can go to some of the hardest work you've probably ever done. Uh, we use the plane to sow depending on, on our rice program. 